Um, hi, my name is Emily Barber, and I was assigned to, um, chapter 47, Why Abortion is Immoral, um, and this chapter was written by Don Marcus. So basically, after reading this chapter multiple times, I learned that the main point slash the purpose of this article is to show um, and explain why abortion is immoral. Um, so Don Marcus basically says that abortion is morally the same thing as killing an innocent child or an adult. Um, so an interesting point that Marcus makes is he says that very few philosophers think that abortion is immoral or wrong. Um, basically, um, so many philosophers believe that abortion is not wrong and that it is okay um and that an abortion on an unborn fetus is really only killing a group of human cells rather than an actual human like a child or an adult um so that is their argument um and why they think that abortion isn't wrong and that it is completely okay um Basically, he mentions, too, that the pro-life position has little to no philosophical support. Um, so, another interesting point is that Don Marcus asks why killing an adult is wrong. Um, he also answers this question by saying that killing is wrong because of the effect on the victim. So, not so much... So basically he's saying that it's the effect on the victim, not so much the murder themselves or the victim's family. So that murder themselves will um, receive consequences and most likely spend a lifetime in jail or a very long period in jail or something around that. And the victim's family will um, suffer the consequences of grief and depression and a lifelong, you know, just lifelong grief and all of that. Whereas the victim, obviously, um, victim being killed, it takes away their future. Not only, like, like, it takes away their future of anything. If they had a whole future planned out of getting married, going to college, all of this, their future's gone right at that second. So, basically, what I'm trying to get at is that this little fact or um interesting point that don marcus makes it explains why one killing is just so bad in general whether it's a child or an adult or an unborn fetus but it explains why killing an unborn fetus premature death is particularly bad basically an abortion on an unborn fetus is completely zeroing out any chance of that fetus having a future um you just eliminate all possibilities of that fetus having a future, whereas an adult or a child had that life and they lived on earth and had plans of a future, whereas that unborn child completely had zero chances of a future um, after being born. So a moral theory that would, um, that would explain this um, chapter of why abortion is immoral would be consequentialism. Um, so this is a theory that holds um, that the consequences of the actions are only the part that matter morally. So anything leading up to that consequence doesn't exactly matter in a moral sense. It is just the consequences of that action. So for example, getting pregnant and um, conceiving a baby doesn't matter. It's just the that if you were to get an abortion, those consequences are the only thing that matters morally. So, whether you get an abortion or not, that is the only thing that matters morally to you and yourself and also society as a whole. Um, so, a real life example of this chapter would be the abortion movements um, that have taken place in the past two to three years within the United States of America. Um, basically, some states have made it completely illegal to receive an abortion. Um, which has led to women, you know, um, performing 
abortions on themselves, which not only endangers themselves as a human, but also the fetus as well. Um, it can be super dangerous and life-threatening. So, and then some states have made it legal to get an abortion and that you are free to walk in, get your abortion, and good to go. So many people that live, many women that live in the states that um, don't have abortions will cross state borders just to get a safe abortion so that they don't have to um, harm themselves or their baby in their own way. So yeah, that is my um, that is my presentation on my topic, why abortion is immoral.